Can I just say this this statement should be on the front cover of the Tories next manifesto. We import two thirds of our cheese. <laughs> that is a disgrace. <laughs> Thank God someone finally said it. I know something's about to go down. two-thirds of our cheese. That is a disgrace. <laughs> we are selling tea to China. <laughs> Yorkshire tea. When it comes to British food and drink, we have never had it so good. <laughs> <laughs> but as well as exporting our fantastic food abroad, I want to see us eating more British food here in Britain. At the moment, we import two thirds of all of our apples. We import nine tenths of all of our pears. We <laughs> Sorry, import two thirds of our cheese. It sounds like a year for uh, SATS exam, doesn't it? I'm so bored. She thinks she's being so inspiring right now. Britain imports two thirds of his cheese, but Belgium gives her nine tenths of his strawberries. How many strawberries does Britain have at the end of the day? <laughs> How bored on the scale of one to ten are you? That <laughs> is a disgrace. <laughs> so passionate. There's anger in her face. Yeah. From the apples that dropped on Isaac Newton's head. Great To the reference. orchards of nursery rhymes. <laughs> this fruit has always been part of Britain. It's been part of our country. Has it? Yeah. 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 Yes. And yeah. I will not rest until the British <laughs> apple is back at the top of the tree. Alfie, she won't rest. I, I, I just imagine Truss in bed going, <laughs> I can't, I can't fucking, David, I can't sleep. I can't sleep. What's wrong, Miz? Bloody apples keeping me awake. The apple's not back up at the top of the tree yet. <laughs> Can I just say, this this statement should be on the front cover of the Tories' next manifesto. We import two thirds of our cheese. <laughs> that is a disgrace. <laughs> Thank God someone finally said it. Thank God. She, she has her priorities right. Oh, Do you know what I mean? She's speaking about the matters that are on the people's minds. It's so funny <laughs> that this is what Tories are concerned about. Yeah, it's all it's bullshit. It's just so funny, isn't it? It's because they'll speak to the... They speak to the people in the country that... It's like it's like how Trump did, you know, with, like, rednecks and farmers. Like, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna. I'm going to bring back money to you, got the people, yeah. the American dream. You're the people running this country. Yeah, we're not looking after you, and which is absolutely the case. They're not looking after the farmers in this country or the people that do a lot of the uh, manual labour. But this isn't where you start, Liz. There's a lot more problems than the import of our cheese. <laughs> it's just, it's just great. We I, what I love are selling about... tea to China. <laughs> look at what, her. Look what? at her. Look how buzzing she is. What I love about it is that she, she, the the, the audience are giving her a response, and she's getting off on oh, it. Oh yeah, she's she's living for it. <laughs> she's like, I've got this in the I've packet. Got, I have them in the palm of my cheesy hands. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mm. It's weird that I find her quite attractive in this place. Did you not find? Did you not find it a little bit compelling? I the first time I watched it, I was like, I know they're taking the piss, but like, she, uh, I can see why people would listen to me and be like, yeah, Britain does need to have our own, uh, make our own food. 
you know, like there is something about, like she's. Was it when she brought up Isaac Newton? <laughs> is that when it got you? That... Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you're speaking to our Science. Now. Science. Or was it the orchards in our nursery rhymes that moved you? Oh, crazy two things that she, the, the app, why apples are important to Britain specifically is mm. because of Isaac Newton and nursery rhymes. Yeah. What nursery rhymes are? I don't know. Actually. Yeah. Like nursery rhymes that they tell in like Eton college. Yeah, exactly. Like we yeah. don't get them. Yeah. You know, we add. Throw an apple at a poor person, <laughs> throw it at the head. Kill when the, they fall down on them. the ground, you use their brains as spread. <laughs> apples in the orchard it's part of britain <laughs> throw some fruit at a poor man and become an englishman <laughs> very good <laughs> thank very, you very yeah. good the falsetto was beautiful oh you have to do it in falsetto it's the rule <laughs> yeah. poor people are the worst poor people are the worst forget the <laughs> wait 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 <laughs> improv is not the old strong point <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to sing Poor People Are The Words. Yeah, I wasn't well, it's, improvising. It's nice. That was it, just my own. It is good to sing. <laughs> oh, God, I feel much better. <laughs> um, yeah, what nursery I'm on about? Yeah, I don't know. If anyone knows what uh, what fruit featured or a British fruit featured nursery rhymes, send them in. O oranges and lemons, say the bells. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No but word oranges apples. and lemons aren't, aren't, aren't a British uh, fruit, really. And they're not apples. Nope. <laughs> What's an apple tree up the apple tree? Up, like, what is she talking about? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we're obviously firing a blank here, but, yeah. you know, we we sang about little blind mice. Yeah. All right? Yeah. In this... In this in this and little incy wincy little spiders. Little poor blind mice. Yeah. 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 Can't afford their own cheese. Yeah. Where Where is the spiders that... that, that climb up the drain pipes where where are we importing them are they part of british history she's leaving out some like crucial nursery well they rhyme. come in with the bananas usually don't they the spiders <laughs> i have a constant fear that i'm going to open a pack of bananas and a poisonous spider is going to bite me do you yeah why it's common is it happens more than you think is it two-thirds <laughs> <laughs> two-thirds of britain's bananas have spiders in them but Brazil's bananas gave them four fifths of an orange. Pretty Patel would not be happy with no. the spiders on the piggybacks of the bananas. Spiders coming on our bananas, <laughs> yeah. stealing our fruit, <laughs> poisoning two thirds of our people uh, eating our bananas. I see in this little still of Liz here. Mm. I can't help but see her as a year seven girl, year seven student who has no friends but she's done a presentation in front of the class and everyone's laughing at her but she thinks they're laughing with her mm. do you know what i mean like i see her as a little girl there <laughs> yeah but you know. by god i love it <laughs> keep it up Liz. <laughs> oh yes <She's, laughs> that's that's interesting yeah there mm. were, i actually did see a clip of her the other day when she was 19 and she was giving her first like political speech Fit? uh as part of wasn't she a lib dem no, she looks exactly like this. Oh, yeah. Exactly like this. Uh, just like browner hair. Not younger. N no, not really. Mm. She looks exactly like this, yeah. And all that baby she was talking she's about thinking. <laughs> she was talking about the monarchy and about how she didn't support it or something like that. She so, didn't support yeah. the monarchy. Something like that, yeah. She she supports cheese, Alf. That's her yeah. cheese, apples and pears. That's her remit. You yeah. know, well, they're the three, three, three key ingredients that what makes Britain great, I think, isn't it really? And a Waldorf salad. Mm. Well, no, they have walnuts in that. Yeah, I don't think there's pears in there either, actually. <laughs> so, okay. so not quite two thirds of a Waldorf salad, which is also <laughs> the next question on the Sats quiz. Bridget <laughs> says two so two thirds of her Waldorf salad, <laughs> but she only gives one tenth of her walnuts. So where should we send old poor <laughs> Bridget back to? Um, no, no, forget it. I found her quite uh, attractive in that video. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. There's you... something about a moronic rich woman that does it for me. Really? Yeah, especially when she talks about the cheese. <laughs> what was it about her that, you know, I, 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 I felt neither inspired nor kind of angry. Oh, no, she won't get my vote. She won't? She'll get the penis, though. Right. 
Not my vote. Alfie, no, no none come of that. On now. Let's come not on. start. Let's not start on this note. God, we don't. You'd fuck Sue Nightmare, right? Absolutely <laughs> not. He is the devil. Yeah, he's no, a he's devil who doesn't know how to put petrol in a car. Yeah, isn't it? I, I honestly don't know what to believe nowadays when it comes to politicians, especially after we've had Boris of like. They must, their publicists must tell them to do shit like that. Say, so, yeah, seeing that, right? You're going to put some petrol in your car, but fuck it up a little bit, yeah? Because it'll be funny and people will talk about it. No, they didn't do that. He actually did. I think he was just nervous on camera. Do you reckon? At doing something he didn't want to do, which was but putting every you know, politician does these stupid photo stunts. opportunities and like fuck, and fucks them up. <laughs> I know, it's, it's great. Like, it's fodder though, isn't it? For us to kind of jump on it and no press is bad press. Exactly, that's what I mean. Essentially, right. That's okay. what I mean. I think like when Ed Miliband ate that bacon sandwich, they were like, <laughs> eat it proper weird though. When did he do that? Do you not remember the end? Miller Van eating a bacon sandwich, no. though? No. Oh, I'm going to have to find oh, it. Oh, great. It's, uh... Do you not remember? It was literally, like... It was kind of like... I mean, this is, a, this is, like, an overstatement. But it was, like, he was doing okay in the general election. And it was, like, the <laughs> it was the day before the votes. And everyone's, like, this this uh, image lost in the election he absolutely <laughs> fucked it let me just uh share it with the good people at home as well so here you go <laughs> oh my <laughs> Do you not remember? goodness gracious oh it makes me feel so sorry for him oh no honestly you know, it, ru it ruins my insides a little bit that photo it makes me feel quite hungry that yeah, yeah it looks like he's enjoying it do you think he's got a cup of tea with it yeah in a polystyrene like, cup i tell you what looks like a decent butty though, i was thinking that it? it's got some girth on the bread thick slab of bacon great toasted a little bit the sandwich ain't bad either <laughs> <laughs> yeah what's he doing I why know. is he eating it like that i know, I know. oh yeah, no just... but uh... to be honest though like who who out of all of us, can honestly say that if someone was sat taking a photo of us eating a bacon sandwich, that that we'd look any better. I don't think you can eat a bacon sandwich without looking like that. No, it is one of those, especially when you you chew in and then you get like a little bit of the fat at the end of the bacon, and then like you have to kind of like pull the snot. Yeah, no, it's it? not and, good. and and also, there's never. In fact, now we're. Now you mention it, mm. Alfie, this really irks me, a bacon sandwich. Oh, yeah. Because, no, it famously isn't eating appropriate. It never, like, because the bacon to bread ratio is never right. You never get, you have to fill it up with bacon to kind of like, like, how many pieces of bacon would you put in a bacon sandwich? Well, you do two. If I'm talking, yeah, if I'm doing, if I, if I, you know, in, in a dream scenario, I'd say, you know, put six on there. Right. Because, but yeah, I'm because, two, really. yeah, two. But it should be six because then you've constantly got bacon in every bite and yeah. then you don't get to the crust and then you've just got crust. Yeah. You know, you get to the yeah. edges. I always hate the ones where, like, you look at his sandwich. Thick slices of bread. Mm. I always hate the ones where, like if you look at if you looked at the cross section, mm, you'd see yeah. just just a th one thin slice of bacon with two so thick slices bread. of bread. So what are you talking about there? I know it's a waste. Yeah, I know. That's well, why. Um, don't put the pig to waste. No, that's why the pea meal bacon sandwiches in Canada are the best because they put like yeah. four or five sandwiches, uh, sandwiches yeah. four or five slices on the sandwich yeah. and the bread's really light. Yeah, two thirds of that pig go in that sandwich. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe Truss is onto something here. <laughs> Speaking in fractions of food really hits the, <laughs> the message home. It was such a simplified fraction, yeah. you know, like data just goes over my head. I don't really care. Yeah. But that's kind of like what the Tories need, isn't it? Numbers. They need numbers and they we need, need facts. Numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And food. For fun, yeah, Produce. yeah. Fractions, numbers and food. That's the name of this episode. <laughs> Fractions and food. <laughs> Two thirds. Yeah, yeah. What, what, what would you say your uh, ratio of like vegetables to non-vegetables is in a day? <laughs> Finally, a question. <laughs> the, the listeners have been waiting for. Um, I'd probably say my veg intake is uh, probably three quarters. I'd say compared to are we talking just meat items or are we talking no all everything foods? else? 
So your grains, your meats, your dairy, you know. Probably a third. Yeah. What about you? Um, yeah. <laughs> well, there it. you go. You've heard it here first, folks. <laughs> yeah, probably a third. A third of the host of I Could Be Your Grandma's food intake is vegetables. <laughs> and that is a <laughs> disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> it's the way she kind of has that like cheeky little smile. It's like the fire in her eyes like oh. after she says it. <sighs> yeah. yeah. <gasps> They like it. They like it. Give them more. Give them more. Send me, send me the facts about the pears. Give me the facts about the goddamn pears. They're on. I've got them. I've got them in the palm of my hands. Uh, do we have a British scientist that's linked to apples? Give me a British scientist. Come on. Yeah, I, I quite like the This Is A Disgrace bit. I think that's what got me going. Yeah, it was great, wasn't it? And she's got this lovely little lisp. Yeah, yeah she does, actually. This is a disgrace. Right. It's quite... And I quite liked it, Liz. Mm. You're awful. You're an awful human being. But hey. we like it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a good speech. When you talk to us about, you know. Food. Because also, che- also, she picked good good things to talk about. Apples, pears and cheese. You know, lovely combination Love of food. Little, uh, you know, she talked about spinach yeah. and... You know, uh, <laughs> yeah, go on. Uh, <laughs> you know, black pudding. They have well, to, they I have, don't know. I no, think no, I'd be well into no, it. But she was clever. They had to be relatable to everybody, right? Those those items. Uh, well, Marmite would have been the one to go out, wouldn't it? Because <laughs> if she's like, we import forty percent of our. No, sorry, that's way too specific. We import four and a half fifths of our Marmite. <laughs> We don't. Fifty percent of that four and a half fifths of people would go. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. I don't care. Wait, fifty percent of the four of those fifths. <laughs> yeah, that's how that, I'm speaking their language. Fix knows that. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't sink in. No. Oh. But you're right. She had to pick a food that was close to people's hearts. Yeah. Everyone's hearts. Yes. And but the, they lost the vegan vote. But vegans aren't Tories, though, are they? It doesn't work like that. No, it doesn't. How many vegan? That's what I want to know. How many thirds of Tories are vegan? That's a good. That's a good statistic. How many vegans are Tories? Yeah. Eighteen fourths, maybe. <laughs> yeah, eighteen fourths of an apple are vegan. Is the staple of a vegan's diet. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no. That's probably the staple Breakfast. of Boris <laughs> Boris Johnson's diet, isn't it? I'll have eighteen fourths of an apple. apple. <laughs> Boris Johnson's diet. That's a whole apple, is it? That's one and a half apples. I don't know. Gosh, wow, it's fast math. No, it's not. It's bad math. Also, Boris Johnson doesn't eat fruit. <laughs> famously no, yeah true he eats uh fruit flavored he eats... starburst <laughs> <laughs> he eats little the little piggies little little uh toes of children <laughs> oh, oh, god. oh god just the little ones <laughs> yeah 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 he forgets the other give ones give me the little <laughs> the, the little piggies <laughs> <laughs> i want them all the way home in my tummy <laughs> not the ones that go to the market they're poor and they do all the hard work i want the little piggies <laughs> the artisan piggies <laughs> <laughs> the artisan piggies uh, what about the big piggy oh no the little what's the this piggy what's the big right, piggy right hang on okay so you got this little piggy went to market Wait there, is that, this? The, big, is that the big toe? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you can start either end. Big to little is the way you go. <laughs> this little piggy went to market. Yeah. This little piggy went to Rome. No, stayed at home. Bloody on our benefits, more like. <laughs> yeah. Stayed at home. Yeah. This little piggy... Had roast beef. Had roast beef. This little piggy had none. And this little piggy went all the way home. Wee, 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 all the way home. <laughs> wee, wee, wee. So which is the tastiest piggy for Boris? The little one. The wee 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 all the way home. He sounds quite lean and tight and probably Probably the stressed. big toe then, yeah. Probably if Boris would go big. He went to market. He does like selling things off. <laughs> so maybe the market piggy. Definitely yeah. not the stay at home poor piggy. Mm. Roast beef, you're getting two meals in one. You're getting yeah. piggy and beef. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which is also the name of his sex tape. <laughs> um. Piggy and beef. <laughs> <laughs> just just them covered in lunch and meats. Yeah, God. you. I mean, looking at them both, you wouldn't know where one began and one where ended, would you? What, it would with... look like a slab of pork and cow. Oh, goodness. Just rotting. Oh, rotting. <laughs> rotting. No. Wow. Okay, how you doing? Yeah, not so bad, not so bad. Good yeah. to get political. 
Yeah, well, it is, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, you know, it's important to talk about, you know, they're going to be on the scene pretty soon. It's also important for, I've acknowledged this week, it doesn't really matter who wins it. We're all, it doesn't matter. We're all screwed anyway. Yeah, there's not a bad, I mean, there's not a good outcome. Tory wise, no, really? no, not really. But we're not going to be negative no, this, po- no, this episode. No, we're no, not no, going to be negative not, about the world anymore. We're taking a new leaf, a new British leaf. <laughs> <laughs> not an imported leaf no, from a, a palm British tree. British leaf. An oak, an oak tree leaf that has grown on this very soil for hundreds of years. Yeah. 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 What have you been thinking about this week then? Well, I've been thinking about how I'm pretty. Pretty, I had a dream that like convinced me that we all reincarnate. Go on. Um, based on no, you know, fact or anything. Hey, what is though? Uh, right. Do you think Liz Truss's stats <laughs> were based on fact? Yeah. No. Maybe two thirds of us reincarnate, the other third go somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, to France. <laughs> well, you know, on the first episode that we ever did, we talked about like if you were reincarnated from something, from somebody. Yeah. Sorry, it was a horrible burp. Mm. <laughs> um, <laughs> Whilst that stink fills my lungs, <laughs> go back and watch episode one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't already. <laughs> I bet two thirds of the people listening def- definitely did. <laughs> two thirds is our favorite fraction. <laughs> people will think of a new one. I'll have, I'll have two thirds. You have like a fifth. Fifth is quite nice. Fifth. Yeah. Four fifths. Four, <laughs> yeah, four fifths of a pound. Reincarnation, mm. right? I had this dream where I was in just living, being with friends. You know, there wasn't the situation that I was in wasn't like abnormal, but I had this distinct feeling that, oh, I'm gonna come back and do this all again. Oh. So, doesn't matter what you do, just have fun because yeah. you're gonna come back, and none of it's real. Mm-hmm. And it was really strange, and I just thought, like, what are the odds? What are the what? It, it's mad that we can all wander about, but the there could be a possibility that we've all existed millions of times. Yeah, but it's not really sorry us that have existed, though, is it? Do well, you think if you reincarnate, you have the same personality? I think no. I think it's the same karma, isn't it? It's the energy. It's like the it's the soul. <laughs> and you know just like that you know there's, there's those <laughs> videos of those like babies that like speak chinese that aren't chinese and then they're like this is proof that they have been reincarnated wait how old are they they'll be like dad will be like what's this honey would you like uh and then they'll hold out like a, a fruit you know yeah. two-thirds of a fruit and uh <laughs> and they'll say apple but in like perfect but like the chinese word for apple yeah perfectly and they're like two or whatever right and it's like well where have they got that from and then people are like, oh it's because in their past life they were chinese yeah all they've <laughs> turned, explain it Alf. all they've turned sesame street <laughs> on and accidentally pressed the language button on the remote it yeah. was chinese yeah all yeah. that there's an explanation for everything these days oh i don't know <laughs> you're I think, not having it i think past life <laughs> i think past life yeah well yeah it's interesting isn't it Do, I, does it comfort you knowing that you might come back and you get to have another go in a little chinese non-chinese speaking no, baby no it freaks me out that i'll have to come back and do it all over again i'm like god not again yeah like, but it could be loads better yeah but it could not be like if your karma's bad you know you could be born yeah but then don't you bank loads of good karma up if you have a shit life so you just have to be in that shit life thing no. this is bad but i'm banking some it good isn't about karma. your circumstance it's about what you do with your circumstance okay so your circumstance could be you know come from poverty whatever but if you're a bad person and treat people badly right then you're going to come back in a worse position. But the the, the theory is really bad because it also says that like people who are in poverty lived a bad, like it yeah, almost it's gives like, like, you like kind the, of deserve yeah, it. it's almost saying like, oh, well, you must've done something bad. But I don't think Buddhists say that. I think they just say like you, the physical circumstances don't play a factor right. in, it's all random where you're born. It's all random who you're born to. What if, you know, um, there's no, what if like you, um, just have, live a really mundane life. Like you just, you just, you lit. you are like, you are in Tory terms, you're like the average start of everything. So you're like, 
weigh an average amount. You make an average <laughs> What's amount an average of income. Of, What's an the average, average weight? The average, right. the average weight of the country. You, your average weight, your average salary, your average fruit eats, Aww. your average car, your average house, your average wife, your average kids, your average mortgage, your average pension, your average debt. You'll probably come back. But that, but what I'm saying is like your actions are average. So everyone's average. So they're not bad. They're not good. They're just middle of the road. So they don't do bad stuff to people. They don't do good stuff. So their karma is just average. Mm. Does that mean they just come back? Average <laughs> over average <laughs> over average over average. Like, does it just repeats the cycle? And that's how me and you got here. <laughs> exactly. I, well, it's less about it's less about the way I suppose your your averageness or what you deem as being average and just like mundane. Mm. It's the, about what you're attached to. I think it's. I think. I think the idea is. If you're attached to anything, you'll come back. If there's any attachment to the, this human existence, yeah. and you think that like that links you to that thing, you'll come back. So yeah. if you go, oh, I recognize I'm Bridget, but I've been given this name and this body, and I've been given this set of skills or whatever it is, circumstances. <laughs> this is this is the uh, the fucking B roll footage of Taken Six <laughs> script, isn't it? I right. I I have average skills and I might find you. No. No, it don't work. <laughs> no, it don't. Nah, it don't work. I, what uh, is the quote? It's it's the fucking I I'm know, a certain set of skills. I don't know where you are. Yeah. But that it doesn't work out. It does. I, I have an average body. I have an average cardio fitness. <laughs> <laughs> and I have average set of skills. And I might find <laughs> Or I might not. <laughs> Either way, I might see you or might not. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. l- just just look out for me. <laughs> that, that I might be there. There's a, there's a four-fifths chance I'll find you. <laughs> Liz, is that you? How do you know? <laughs> Crunching down on apple. Fractions. <laughs> <laughs> they won't be called taken. We call fractions. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry for the bad joke. Oh my god! Hey, awful. I'm just throwing them out there. Hey, I'm hey. just throwing them out, Come and on. some will hit, and some will fall. I'm just pouring them out into the ether. At least you're trying. Hey, can't fault you for that. No, no, no. It's it's that if you're attached to stuff, you'll come back. Well, yeah, you'd be weighed down. <laughs> yeah. You can't fly up high enough. I can't get to heaven with this fucking massive Louis Vuitton bag I bought it's myself. Soul Marie was weighing me down, man. <laughs> I can't leave it behind. <laughs> oh, I taxed it till 2024. <laughs> but like, even when you're on your deathbed and you're like, bye, my love. By oh my daughters, oh, my, kids. my th- even that you're supposed to just let them go because they don't <laughs> exist. So how would you feel if your mum was on her deathbed and she was she was there like, oh, okay, Bridget, come here. Yeah. And you're like, yes, mum, I love you, mum. What's wrong, mum? She goes, I'm done with you now. Fine. I'm done. That feels- <laughs> Otherwise, I'm done, I'm with, you done with you now. Well, then I'd interpret that as meaning that, like, you know, all her life she had to put up with me. Yeah. And now she's give it. She has to give that up, which would would be a great thing to leave a person <laughs> with. I'm done with. <laughs> Not you. like I would. Yeah, but if if you're attached, can you say I love you? Yeah, I think you can. I think. Well, surely think that's you're attached. Atta- surely you're still attached to your. The sense of I, your own ego, your sense of self. If you're saying I love you, yeah, you're still I. attached to this person that you are. So you'd say what? A, a you, version of me loves you. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, you just go completely non-binary. <laughs> you go, Anne loves you. You're oh, just you, talking third person. Yeah. Because you're going like, Anne's been this person that's been existing, but yeah. now I'm just this like beam of light that's going on to yeah. Nirvana or whatever. You go gender neutral pronouns. You just go, they love you. Yeah, they, they love them. you. Love you. Them love you. <laughs> and then you go, sorry, sorry, what do you go by? And you go, she. You go, they love she. <laughs> and then they die. And then they wouldn't come back. No, and then they go on. No. Yeah. Would you rather come back or go on? Uh, well, it depends just where on paint, is. Just to paint the picture of what on is, mm. it's like... Flamingo land. It's, <laughs> so I'm said. It's like uh, no cues <laughs> on any ride. There's some cues, but they're small. Okay. You know, maximum, you know, 20 minute wait. I can live with that. Um, no, no, it's like uh, the best 
feeling you've ever had in your life of freedom, of peace, of happiness, times a billion. Times two thirds. Times two thirds. <laughs> Apple in hand, <laughs> cheese in the other, you know. Trust on my right arm. Yeah. Yeah. Sunak on my left. Yeah. Um you well, know, yeah, like I mean it, on. It, it, Definitely. Right. Yeah. Definitely on. What about you? Would Without you... the pain of human experience. Yeah. What about you? What happens if someone said, um, if they said, uh, right, you're dying, you're going to die, would you rather go on? Go on. Mm. Or you get one more life, mm. right? <clears throat> you might go on after, but the life is going to be good. It's going to be good. Like, you're going to be born. Am I going to know? Well, well, you do when you make your decision. But no. when you're born in the life, you don't know about going on. You've got to discover that. Right. Again. Right. But you might not, though. I thought this is a thing, yeah. isn't it? So your life, though, that you get to have is, it's the best life. You, you're fucking loaded. You're fit. I mean, yeah. you're fit now, but you're fitter. <laughs> you're actually fit. No, yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah. You're, you're, you're beautiful. <laughs> Good you can be what <laughs> The best. <laughs> the best thing. Pearly whites ever. Better than better than anyone's. Okay, okay. I'm listening. Um, yeah, so you have... You, you, so, like, what would your dream career be? Do you want to be a pilot? I know, a vet would be pretty cool. A vet, but do you want to be a famous vet? Uh, well, not really. Just, like, a great... You know, you know what? I, I don't really want a job. I just want, you know, like... You just want to be loaded. Yeah. Just, travel the world. Yeah, travel the world. Stuff. Right, that's the, that's the life. That's the life you get. Learn loads of languages. And, Do that. You know, be You're really smart as well. Yeah, really smart. Yeah. yeah. Be like a big thinker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, I'm in. Or Where? you go on. <laughs> Where now? Or you go on. Oh, go on. 100%. Yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah but, come on. Yeah, yeah I've but, already had a great life. Come on, yeah, Alfie. Well, listen. That's nice of you to say, but it's not true, is it? But also, I would come back and I'd have a different set of circumstances. Like, I'd diff have different family. Would I grow up being like, oh, Miss Alfie? Like, I've got. No, this... you don't know who I am. Do I not remember any of no. that? No. No, 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 no. But then also, I might be miserable. No, you're going to have a good one. I'm guaranteeing you it now. You're going to have a good one. Like, 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 I'm going to have a good sense of humor and stuff. And, you know, like, mm. am, am I going to be me? No, you're not going to be yeah, you. Yeah, then I don't really, I, I don't see why that would be more perfect than like going on. To, well, you know, well when you go on, you're not going to be you. Oh. Uh, so you ain't going on because oh, you're already attached to you. Oh my God, yeah, that's a really good point. You really do have to get rid of you, don't you, before you go. Yeah, destroy the self. Yeah, the whole re reincarnation thing really chucks out the old idea of ghosts and stuff, don't they? Because what are ghosts then? I think there are people that went on but went too far. <laughs> or didn't quite get there. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, being maybe they were being dragged down by their Vauxhall Marivas. Maybe ghosts are people that have got all baggage. Uh, uh, still attached. You know, still attached. And that's why you have the clairvoyance, like Derek Akora that goes and goes, let it go. I feel your pain. I feel it. Let it go. Let it go. Oh. <laughs> and they, and, and they, he's moved on now. He's moved on. Sorry, they've moved on now. They've moved on. Im's moved on now. <laughs> Stop me. I know. I'm, I'm just like, <laughs> never, never. I'm never going to be the one to stop. Yeah. Um, do you believe in ghosts? Uh, no. Have we talked about ghosts on the podcast yet? I feel like we probably should have. We would have done, wouldn't we? Talk about ghosts. Maybe. Not to the extent maybe that. And we're gonna get you oh, now. Wow. Um, do you believe in ghosts? No. But, but I mean, Alfie, what's my motto? Uh <laughs> <laughs> you caught with anything. <laughs> yeah. Like insert horrific uh, yeah, saying yeah, now. Yeah. My motto is <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say. <laughs> Live fast, slut hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, no, my motto is <laughs> Don't believe in anything, but don't rule anything out. <laughs> Do you want to explain that? Okay, so let me get these these cans are off my neck. My motto is: don't believe in anything fully, but I don't rule anything out. Meaning that I haven't had an experience of 
ghosts or anything, but um, I'm quite keen to, you know, experience it, not ruling it out. I do think it's a bit far-fetched though. Mm. I think it's a bit like, I don't know, I'd have to experience it to believe it. Well, yeah, I mean, that's how life works, isn't it? I think the brain is capable of things that we don't understand. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, there's yeah. like two thirds that are undiscovered, I heard. <laughs> and, yeah. you know, we don't know, we don't know the extent of our uh, capacity to kind of imagine stuff and, you know, yeah. for it to affect us physically, you know, when you feel, you you know, we all. Do you not just think that that could be something else there? Like, because ghosts could be misinterpreted for this collective consciousness that we have, you know, like this energy and power that surrounds us in our daily lives right um or it could be a like Brian headless Cox. man <laughs> you know you know it could be both but if you were to have a ghost experience uh you know here's a question for you okay um here's a good question for you it's not a good question at all but it's a question um four-fifths of my questions are good okay okay um so who's a celebrity that was really that you found really attractive that's now dead Ooh, really attractive but now dead mm. like um, marlon brando in his prime oh like died at an old age well no well, no 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 could be you know you know could have died at any age but they were attractive when they were in their prime. well thingy was attractive wasn't he um the guy from fast and furious okay there you go yeah him yeah what's right. he called uh um, um I think he's called Paul Nissan Walker. Micro. Oh no, that's it, Paul Walker. <laughs> um, Paul Walker. Okay, right. So, if so, like, right? Is you okay? Okay. It's a couple. There's so many questions popping my head here right now. So, Paul Walker. Yeah. Okay. You can have sex with Paul Walker's ghost. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> here's it. Here, here's a question for you. Right. You have sex with Paul Walker's ghost, right? And no one believes you. <laughs> Here we go. I've got it right. Would you rather have sex with Paul Walker's ghost, but no one believes you? Okay. Right? No one believes you. Because, ooh, why? But it happens. Right. And it's good. Right. But no one believes you. Okay. Or <laughs> everyone thinks that you've had sex with trump <laughs> and it hasn't happened oh it's like that whole argument of like would you have sex with a dog <laughs> or everyone think ev- do, you but have yeah, sex have with a se- dog yeah, but yeah, no yeah. one knows yeah. or you don't have sex with the dog and everyone thinks you have yeah like, it's that thing isn't it, is it that thing yeah but we're doing paul walker <laughs> versus trump yeah paul walker's paul ghost. Is a ghost versus, <laughs> <laughs> right yeah i see yeah i see um I suppose Paul Walker <laughs> as a ghost. But everyone thinks you're crazy. <laughs> What's so funny about this is that, like, <laughs> Paul Walker has, like, family. Yeah. <laughs> like, we're thinking about this from, you know, my friends and family, you know, that I'm telling them this. Right. But, like, say I put this, you know, I go to the media and I'm like, I had sex with Paul Walker's <laughs> ghost. We could just do this. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe it would bring some fucking traction to the podcast. Hey. <laughs> Boo, Bridget. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> um, <laughs> so imagine if, like, it, the, like his f- grieving mother, you know. <laughs> sees, sees your mug sees... going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like the, your son's ghost. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, and that's the story is that no one believes me, but like Paul Walker hasn't come back to say hi to his mom, to, you know, yeah, say hi no. to his friends. The only thing he's done is have sex with this, this random, random British, girl. British girl from the Northwest. Fit though. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it's understandable. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. He went, Do you know what? I'm going to Manchester to visit her. That's what I, I've seen her about. I watched their podcast in heaven <laughs> yeah like of all people like for, for who's like, the god you know, of uh, life I, and death because all like fast and furious fans as well yeah. he's bypassed oh yeah you know he's got die <laughs> great joke <laughs> is it is that a car reference i don't know i don't drive 
What? Bypass them? Bypass them. Well, I also said Die Hard. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, die Hard fans. Yeah, different film. Though. Yeah, different franchise. We'll move on. But basically, <laughs> the, the you know, all these fans that have been like, I would have given anything. I, I was his number one girl. I love him more than anything. You're like, I don't, I watched, you know, the first one for about seven minutes and I had a good nap. Yeah. I've don't not really seen him. But maybe he likes that. Maybe, maybe he doesn't want, because yeah. some girls, are, <laughs> he, he's be at the foot of their bed and they go, oh my God, Paul, yes, oh my God, fuck me, I can't wait. Right. Whereas he wanted you to wake up and go, <laughs> what? Who are you? Who, who are you? <laughs> What? I'm Paul Walker. <laughs> uh? <laughs> Where's Alfie? <laughs> well, yeah, where are you, by the way? I, I'm out fucking some Marilyn Monroe ghost somewhere. Probably. <laughs> so you're doing the same thing? Yeah, we're just having ghost orgies. Right. Plasma all over the place. Okay, right, okay. Because it, it would be pretty mad. I probably wouldn't recognise him either. Yeah, I wouldn't mm, know who he is. Yeah. And then to just go, oh, yeah, well, okay then. Is he ghostly? <laughs> like, can I feel him? Or like, what's the thing? Oh, you can feel him. He right. touches the sides. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the cloud. No, it's not, just, it's not just empty. It's just air. Just air. It's feeling nothing. And he's the Well, what is a ghost? Time. You have to kind of. Well, you know. yeah. Well, yeah, in, in this world, in this ghost world, he, uh, he, uh, he, he penetrates. You, know what <laughs> you can feel him. He's cold. <laughs> it's Feel, feels like the sea. <laughs> yeah. Feels like an ice cold sea. Yeah, but but he's there, and you can feel every inch. <laughs> God. <laughs> um. Right. Yeah. It's mad, mad. Yeah. That he's picked. And also, you said before, like, yeah, he's watched the podcast. Is there somewhere in like the afterlife where you can just? You They've know... got YouTube in heaven. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Who's the god of life and death? Would you subscribe to me <laughs> if I saw you in heaven? No, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> what's that? Um, um, what's that song they made for him? It's been a long day without you, my friend. But hit that like and subscribe and you'll see me again. Yeah. There we go. Good, you are full of the tunes I know, today. I don't you can't know stop. Going on. Do another one. Do another one. What's the name of the god of life? Is it Zeus? No, god of life and earth is Gaia. Mother The Greece one. The Greek myth, a Greek god of, of earth and life is Gaia. Gaia, right. Yeah. So Paul goes to Gaia. Yeah. Or Gaia goes to Paul. Hey, Paul. Hi. <laughs> it's me. Gaia. Um, Want to go back to have sex with one girl? Yeah. And she goes, okay, but you only get to go once. <laughs> okay. Who are you picking? <laughs> this girl. <laughs> why is that so funny no, it's because he doesn't know you why is that so hilarious he doesn't know you, you that's why Yo, like. why is it so funny that he might come back and pick me what's so ludicrous so about random, that it's isn't it it's random I think it I think I'll be top on the list for lots of ghosts I don't think you'd be the bottom I don't think you'd be the well, bottom. Well, I hope not. <laughs> I like that you were like, don't worry, I don't think you'd be at the bottom. You wouldn't. I think you'd be in the top four things. I think if you came back, you wouldn't pick me. <laughs> I probably would. No, I don't think you would. I think you'd be like, I could get, she doesn't know. I could pick anyone. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't know. That's would... the funny thing. She doesn't know, unless the girl tells the media, but I'm not a well-known person. What so is it that a famous person, like, he must have... Because for him, you know, for, for, for us, normal people, we're like, oh, having having sex with a famous person is like so unreachable. But why would he want to have sex with somebody who's just like, you know, average? That's, you can't say that about yourself. <laughs> no. But it'd be interesting if in a world where if this was a thing, right? Mm. In, a world, in a world where I'm Paul Walker. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me get the accent. Paul Walker, <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> Paul Walker. <laughs> Did you put your name in that hat? <laughs> Did you have sex as a ghost in Bridget? <laughs> Harry Potter. Um, uh, right, no, if um, like if in a world where people get to come back once to have sex with a human as a ghost. Mm. Right, so like it's funny. Because Paul Walker is a well-known man, mm. celebrity, and he's coming back to have sex with you, a non-celeb, unknown person to the majority, to four-fifths of the world. Yeah. Right? But imagine if, if like you say, like, you, you joke, like, I wouldn't come back to have sex with you, right? Because if 
a, a man or a woman was given free reign on anyone that is living in the world right now, they four fifths again would probably go for a celebrity, right? Right. So then imagine being like, I don't know, Margot Robbie and just some random bloke <laughs> turns yeah. up as a ghost yeah. at the bottom of the I'm bed. I'm here going, to have sex with you. Yeah. And she's like, oh yeah, great. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Gaia said it was all right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm here to do that. So you just have to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're also assuming that like, you know, I wake up in the middle of the night, there's a ghost. Yeah. And my first thought is, oh, let's have sex with it. <laughs> no, he explains. Oh, and then I'm on board. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's got, he's got ghostly powers, hasn't he? Oh, well, if he has ghostly powers, <laughs> it's a different thing. You can't say no. The second option. Have sex. I, Not have sex with Trump, but everyone thinks you have. That's tough, isn't it? You could make some real cash on the back of that, though. <laughs> yes. Do I like cash? That's the question. <laughs> How much do I like cash? Well, because you could go, yeah, I did. And what? And I'm going to write a book about it and, say, and make up loads of shit about how terrible he was you could say anything i could say anything about him yeah yeah how's it come out this is a thing why does everyone think i have because i've gone out and told everyone or like no i think it's like i think it has to come for, for like every... the devil has a deal with the daily mail yeah, they just suddenly post yeah. an article like for, for everyone to believe it in the world it has to have not been off your back because then most people would go <laughs> unlike trump <laughs> yeah because it would because everyone would go um oh she's making it up for money I think it has to be like a source close to Trump right. has sold the story mm. that you were one of his call girls. Yeah, well, this is the other thing is that loads of women have had sex with Trump, but like, you know, they're nobodies, so it doesn't really... But I suppose it isn't about everybody else, people I don't know knowing. It's about people I do know thinking well, well, that about me. This is what you could like do, Like everyone though. at work, all my family, my friends, thinking that... Would they not just be like... That's an interesting story, Bridget. Tell us more. What do they think I'm gross? Yeah, well, no. What what you could do though, what 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 you could do is that like all these girls that Trump has had sex with that don't speak out is because they've probably paid off, been paid off by him, right? Or like you know threatened. But you know, we'll say paid off for the sake of this. Right. Like, you could say <laughs> you could go to Trump, the big man himself, and go, "Listen, mate, I know it didn't happen. Yeah, you know it didn't happen. <laughs> but all those people out there." They think we did it, mm. yeah? And I could say a lot of shit about what's going on down there if I wanted or, to. Or what's not going on down there, if you uh, know what I mean. Uh, exactly. So why don't you just give me, you know, 50 what? mil? What? Give me 50 mil and I won't say anything. Do you think he has that amount? He's got a lot, a lot of that. He's got yeah, a lot of cash yeah, to sling about. Got, he's, got, he's got enough. Um, would I? Would I sell my soul to the devil? I mean, I mean, if we're talking about reincarnation, that isn't going to do my karma <clears> any good, is it? No, but it'll do you. Karna. <laughs> Klarna. Klarna, there we go. Some good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Would I? Would I? No, I don't think I would. So you go for the ghost thing. The, the, other, the other caveat of the ghost thing, which I didn't mention, is that once a day you have to do an Instagram live video of going, hey guys, Bridget again, just wanted to talk about that time oh. that Paul Walker's ghost had sex with me. A day, once, once a, day. a day. Yeah, yeah. Oh God, I mean, people are going to get more annoyed. People I know are going to get more annoyed at me about that. Mm-hmm uh okay trump that's actually just convinced me because i also don't have to have sex with anyone yeah yeah and i like that <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know you do <laughs> <laughs> i'm happy with that situation yeah let's keep it <laughs> let's keep it keep it in yeah someone should <laughs> <laughs> the rudeness oh the rude you know i have the rush <laughs> keeping that in that's gonna be the clip that we had before the episode <laughs> uh, we should talk about podcast logistics 40 minutes into the episode okay uh new day of oh, release. Yeah. i've been thinking because of our schedules mm. i think wednesday 6 a.m that's the time wednesdays wednesdays not, the new days not tuesdays no wednesdays not thursdays not thursdays Wednesday. Wednesday, midweek treat. Wednesday is a very nice day. Hump day. You having a bad day? Put the grandma's. <laughs> yeah, get your hump off. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Get your hump off, like uh, Paul Walker's ghost. But what about people that like listening to us on a Monday? Well, you save it. 
Oh. Save it. Save it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Wednesdays, guys. Pretty- Wednesday, 6 a.m. It'll be be there on Spotify. The video will be on Spotify as well. It'll be on YouTube. Uh, we've just had changes to our daily lives in yeah. which Mondays don't really work for us anymore. No. So uh, Wednesdays is the day. Great. Uh, starting this week. So this episode will be out on a Wednesday. Mm. So if you're wondering why is it on a Wednesday, that's why. <laughs> and I'll put a post on Instagram and everything. Okay, cool. Yeah, so Great. that's that. Should we finish the episode off with a little clip? Mm. Cheeky little clipping. Can I also just point out like how white I am? Well, you have got a white light on you. I know, but you... You, sir, Mr. <laughs> Button Down today, look yeah. very tanned. I think it's because the illusion of the lamp behind me gives me a bit of a tan. Can I have some illusions, please? I look like, I look like a Cullen brother. That's good, that. Thank Macaulay? You. No, Cullen. <laughs> no, from Twishite. <laughs> Twi- t- from from M- Mona the Vampire. Um, would you watch Twilight with me? Um, I've seen them. Would you watch them again? Uh, how much? Like how them? much? How much would? How much would you have to? You know, like how much would someone have to pay you to dress up <laughs> as a vampire with all of the mem- like merchandise, Twilight T-shirt? Like maybe a leather jacket with like the wolves on the back, the cast on the back. Right. You know, like skinny jeans, like, <laughs> you know, like the the merch, yeah. badges, a little tote bag maybe with, you know, Edward like that in the distance, looking off into the distance. Yeah. Little teeth. <laughs> you put white paint on, but nobody else is dressed up and you go and see the film. Um... Oh, am I on my own? Um, it's a sold out <laughs> theatre show in yeah. Twilight. Well, but I, no fans are there because like... Who's buying tickets <laughs> then? No fans are there. In fact, in fact, it's everyone, right? It's all boyfriends who hate the film have been asked to go. But <laughs> right, none of right. them have been asked to put on the garb, but you have. Well, th- well, they obviously know that I'm a boyfriend that hates the film. No, no, but you look like you love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Would um, you do it? Would you do it? Would you do it? <laughs> how much would I do it for? No, you don't get paid. You just, you just. All oh, right, so then no. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty, pretty okay. easy. Um, I don't know. A hundred quid. Um. It's interesting now they, because uh, is I the think... costume come out of expenses? Like I'd have to pay for it. No. So a hundred quid and everything's bought for me. Yeah. I'd probably do it for a hundred quid. hundred quid. Interesting. I think the hardest bit wouldn't be the cinema per se. It'd be like getting the tram. Like getting there. Yeah, you have to get the tram. Yeah. Yeah, and be... the tram back. Yeah, is my tram fare included? Paid for? No. Mm. <laughs> well, £103.60 then. <laughs> no, uh, no, yeah, that's it. Sorry, no expenses. You have to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, all the costumes and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be like 100 quid's worth I, I love it I'd just break even I love yeah, it yeah but I've got to keep this leather jacket <laughs> yeah, just paint over it yeah. or not <laughs> and what, maybe at the end of the film you <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah you start bleeding blood and you just love it well you do that don't you in most films <laughs> bleed blood <laughs> yeah we only watch about one film a month <laughs> <laughs> Bleed blood. No, I mean, I mean, I mean, like, I mean, like, <laughs> cry blood. I didn't mean bleed. I mean, <laughs> bleed blood. <laughs> Are you one of those people that bleeds blood? <laughs> Gross, he's bleeding blood. <laughs> <laughs> bleeds blood. <laughs> um. Okay. If expenses aren't included, yeah, no, you have to pay for all of it. Yeah. Well, two hundred quid. Yeah, maybe, probably <laughs> five, five hundred quid. Five hundred quid. I'd do it because. It's life, isn't it? It's fun. It's a good story. Yeah. Okay. What if you have to clap at certain and go, oh my God, it's brilliant. Well, at yeah, certain if, I, parts if I'm in the, the costume, I, yeah, do it. I certain just, parts of the film. I'd just, I'd just become a character. I'd right. become, I'd become a super fan. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, enjoy it. Okay. What if then you have to turn to the person next year and go like, <laughs> 
<laughs> and then just like <laughs> yeah do that and then like you know like, <laughs> <laughs> do they do that in twilight <laughs> yeah yeah they do that's how they suck the uh suck the old <laughs> tears out the neck <laughs> Who is it? Is it a teenage girl or is it a man? What would you like, prefer? Well, not a teenage girl because oh. then there's consequences of like... It's a grown man. Yeah, I'd do it to him. Yeah, you would. Yeah. yeah. Is he hard? <laughs> He's rock hard. <laughs> I mean, it, will he beat me up? <laughs> oh, um... <laughs> <laughs> well, because like you wouldn't do it if he was like visibly flaccid. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> Turn around and go. Yeah, oh, you're not even. You're not even going hard, mate. What's going on? <laughs> I thought you were into this. I thought we we're all here for watching a film we all love. <laughs> He's just kind of that tree. I was expecting something. <laughs> um, Come on, look at his look at his shiny diamond skin. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah. No bad film. Yeah. Did you like it as a kid? I did, yeah. Mm. I was a teenage girl. Of course, I no. Nah. No. No. A little bit. No. Mm. No, I'm smiling, but it's because you made me nervous. I definitely didn't. It wasn't my thing. No. But um, I enjoyed the film. Yeah. What sit teenage on a girl did weird it? And... Well, and just like put so... a, sit on a cushion a bit hard and. You really need to learn. You have so much to learn about women. That's how it works, right? Yeah, just sit on a cushion. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Yeah, sit on, sit on a cushion. Uh, sit on a cushion. God weird. forbid you have like the self pleasure talk with our daughters if we have them. <laughs> like every father does. <laughs> Yay! Here's how you get yourself off, girls. <laughs> that favorite cushion of yours. <laughs> sit on it weird, yeah. That tweed one your mum's got. <laughs> in the yeah, the one with the buttons. You know the one. <laughs> <laughs> with, the, with, the, with the spiky corner. Yeah. <laughs> hey, knock yourselves out. Me and you when we're going out. <laughs> Go mad. Yeah, use our old poster of David Tennant if you want. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Too far. You don't pass on your, like, your, you your know, your, material. your materials. This is so funny, right? Because I un- unintentionally wanted to talk about this. Oh. But uh, <laughs> it has come up organically. Mm. I was thinking throughout the week of, like, how... As you get older, well, this is more like it isn't real, right? But it's kind of, it kind of is, it, it doesn't apply to you and me, right? Okay. But like <laughs> how society, how society is um, developed, like when you're young, right? I was thinking about how like, as you get older with like cars or uh, sex, maybe porn. Okay. Right. Uh, you get more... Um, bored <laughs> yeah with this fucking way i'm explaining it i'm trying to get my thoughts in my head no jesus start basically from the beginning. right start i was i was thinking out. of start. jokes i was thinking of jokes right and i was thinking about how as you get older cars and sex get crazier or you need you require more to get you off right so when you're a kid right you're just happy to have bought a banger you're back you're happy to have bought a peugeot right. 406 for 200 quid that's got a door falling off right yeah. as a as a young man you're also happy just to fucking put it in somewhere or just like, like look at boobs exactly you know just the sight of exactly. a bare boob you'd be like whoa not even that a bra uh, right i'll take okay. a bra yeah right. wow bra right but but i know that i was also thinking of like how porn kind of ruins that for men now as right. well so like it becomes teenage boys they just get unlimited anything right yeah so as they get older they just require more and more and more yeah right so like i was trying to link how a car and sex could could go so like obviously you go and you um you know you're looking for more throttle in the car <laughs> yeah and you might you know choke a girl whilst you're having sex so all you require to get yourself choked because you need to get off this is Excellent episode for you parents to be listening to <sighs> oh, as my well. Goodness, strap in. Um, uh, but then, and then I thought, like, what's the punchline here, right? And then you got like rims, you know, custom rims. And then you your, <laughs> your, rim, okay. your, your rim working. Okay. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. I was thinking, like, what's the what's the punchline here uh, to this joke? And I, I didn't find one. Brilliant. Well, thank you for sharing but that half a joke. Isn't it interesting? Yeah. I liked it a lot. Yeah. yeah, I think it needs maybe come back next week when you got work. it all ironed out. Yeah, yeah no, I like that you. I like that you. You kind of workshopping it here. Why don't I go away and write it and That'd bring be it great. back next week? That'd be you. great. Yeah, if you could, maybe it's, you know something about you know you know it's, what else are you get in a car then. Steering wheel, indicator, headlights, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, body yeah, wax, work, wax, wax, body work. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, okay. Um, but, but I don't know how it links with like sex getting more 
Well, it does though, doesn't it? Like, because 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 like you're sensitizing you desensitizing yourself to so much, and as right. you get older, you need more to get off. Yeah. Uh, it gets could, could get to a ridiculous point. <laughs> what when we all own like a rocket? <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Let me figure it out. Okay, okay, yeah. Let me take yeah, it's it a away. good, it's a good one though. Yeah. I like it. Why do what are we talking about? No idea. <laughs> I don't even know how we got onto that. No, neither. I neither. What were we saying? Oh, about uh, teaching your children how to master. <laughs> of course, <laughs> the, the classic. We'll just get them to listen to this episode. Yeah, God, yeah, they'll learn so much about their parents. Do you ever worry about that? Nah, don't know me. Do you ever worry about like what this podcast is of like our children listening to it one day? No, I think it's great. Or our nieces and nephews listening to it. Again, I think it's great. Do you sure? Yeah, definitely. We don't really. Do you think they'll be embarrassed and be like, oh, they're so lame? Probably, yeah. Yeah, I think we're already too old with the kind of content that's being made on YouTube. Yeah, maybe. But I think it's quite nice. Yeah, because I because if my daughter comes up to me and says, "I've been having Jesus," she's old, she's eighteen or something. She goes, "Ah, I don't know how to, I've I've never had an orgasm." I go, "Right, oh God, what? Go no. back to episode twenty-eight. You'll hear all about it, <laughs> or you know, or like uh, go speak to mum. She's never had one either. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, fucking hell. <laughs> Say, is your mum put you up to this? <laughs> I'm trying." <laughs> It's not true though. This cute, like, don't put this in. It's not true. I go right. What's going on? <laughs> you two are in cahoots. Yeah. Ah, oh, not this. I didn't expect this from you. <sighs> not having a daughter. Um, but no, I think it's nice to um, to you know for them to for them to know. Yeah. I think it's also a good uh, a good a good. Um, <laughs> a represent- ah! you're right you- oh, we just lost the plot i think it's a good representation of our relationship you know and like i'd hope that they look at us and go oh wow my mom and dad really liked each other because i'm sure there will be times in our parental relationship when we're raising kids that you know times will get tough hey mm. and they might not see they won't see us well, I mean, they hope they do see us behave like we do mm. with each other now. Mm. But, you know, you, you can, you know, stuff can happen. So it'd be nice for them to go, oh, there's a nice. Yeah. This is, they had fun. And also, yeah, it might be quick. We don't know what this is going to look like. We might do this and then stop doing it. And then they'll have this like really weird, be like, oh, like the year or however long before yeah. they decided to have kids. Like there was this crazy thing that they did every week. Yeah, it's quite a cool thing to lives. leave to like a generation and be like, oh, this is what we thought about the world yeah. at this time. Yeah. Um, yeah, I often think about that. Mm-hmm. Do you think, um, yeah, yeah. I think um, that's all I'm going to leave them in the will. Is the podcast. Is the podcast. I go, here's all the episodes. Here's the NFTs. <laughs> here's the NFTs. Good luck. <laughs> Have fun. But I think, uh, imagine how crazy would it, how crazy would it be, right? If we just, you know, when we, st- if we ever stop doing this, when we have kids or whatever, and we just go, right, we're going to take it offline, save all the episodes up, and we do leave it to them in their will. And we go, here's, when we here's die. your parents. <gasps> here's, here's 100 plus hours of your parents chatting absolute bollocks. Oh my God, that's a great idea. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really cool thing to leave someone. Or would that just make them quite upset? But also by the time we're dead, hopefully, we're like old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fingers crossed. And then they'll see us, you know, in our prime. Exactly. (laughs) When we look, when we... uh, 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 (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, when you could potentially maybe have a smaller chance of getting fucked by Paul Walker's ghost. Yeah. (laughs) Because he ain't coming to Granny Bridge, is he? Oh, uh, well, I don't know. We don't know. She might be fitter than, you know, 27-year-old Bridget. Yeah, yeah, she might be. Do you think you're going to be more good looking as you get older? Mm, yeah, I think men have it. Have it quite good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think women do to a certain point and then it all goes a bit downhill. Mm. You got a good window. Yeah. In your thirties. Yeah. I'm 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 reaching that window, I think. You're I'm I'm ready I'm ready to you're step most, into it. You're beautiful. You're the most beautiful you've ever been. I really want to dye my hair. Yeah, this is probably not podcast chat. Okay, great. Sorry. <laughs> no, Sa- save it for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> save it for the bit the kids don't see. <sighs> oh God. Uh, uh, no, I'm only saying that because we are we are 
running and we, we've got a clip to talk through as well so uh, oh i think we should save that for next week no yeah i think we, we should just, i think just keep this as a short one because no. i'm not in the mood no you're not in the mood no. you're not in the mood no i think we should do be done this is a great app though is it finish strong yeah leave yeah it. no finish finish strong though because i've got a lot to say about the next one okay yeah so i think let's leave it so we're saying goodbye yeah i think we should say goodbye okay for another week at least and uh and touch back in with our uh <laughs> fans again <Yeah>. later. <laughs> have you got a song for the fans yeah of course you got a nice you i'm having you right to close the episode out thank you so much for listening we love you so much we'll see you again next wednesday at 6 a.m for all your needs to close the show bridget and her nursery rhyme take it away Little piggies on my feet. Look at them go. Oink, 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 oink. Look at a piggy strolling round the street. Picking up stuff from the shop like tasty treats. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. It had heart. It had politics. It had soul. It had pigs and feet. <laughs> Everything you could possibly need. Oh, wow. What a rush. Do you know what? Right. What we're going to do is I'm going to workshop my joke. You're I'll workshop it. my song yeah. and we'll come back. There we go. Okay. All right. Ciao. Ciao.